So today took a little bit of an unexpected turn. We spent a day in Ocala yesterday and we were supposed to be heading down to see the villages because a lot of people asked me about the villages and then over to the west coast of Florida near Clearwater. But we decided to take a t detour and come back to Daytona Beach because I actually kind of like this area a lot and I see some houses around here that are actually still pretty affordable. And I'm gonna take you through this house that I'm looking at here. And this house is only a couple blocks away from the beach and if they're only asking like 319,000, which in Miami, it's impossible to get a house like that this close to the beach. So let's take a look at the house. So this house is a smaller, you know, just modest house, but everything is nice and updated. I actually really love the kitchen a lot. I love these spacious open kitchens like that, quartz countertops. This is much more spacious than the kitchen I have at my place in Miami, so I will take it. I love the terrazzo floors. These things are reliable, easy to clean. This is just like an extra little room here. I'm not even sure what you call this, maybe a den or a sitting area. Goes out to the backyard. Got the backyard here. Looks like they started putting in some kind of Little decorative pavers, nothing too fancy. And it's a small backyard, but who cares, you know? There's Lizzie. She's showing up in all the videos lately since she's on vacation with me and not working hard. Usually she's always working hard, walking all the dogs, giving them baths, all kinds of stuff like that. Hey, I need some work. <laughs> yeah, I would put a garden back here, no doubt. Let's grow some our own fresh fruits and vegetables. And then you have a small one-car garage, nothing too fancy, but it gets the job done. Could park the Camaro in here, leave the Jeep outside in the driveway. I'm also considering buying a place like this to just rent it out on Airbnb and not even live in it for now, because at the moment, I'm not ready to leave Miami yet. So the houses we're looking at here are like kind of like a dual purpose. We're looking at a place that we might potentially want to live in one day, but also something that we could rent out right now and have as an investment property first. So you got the living room over there. You got the second bathroom or the guest bathroom here. Little hallway that goes down into all three bedrooms. This one seems to be the smallest one. It's not huge, you know. This house was built, I think, in the 50s or 1960s. And this is just how they built them back then. We kind of talked about that in some of the older house tour videos where you know you have like these smaller closets like this because life was simple back then and people just didn't have all this stuff like we have now. But I like the neighborhood. I like that it's really close to the beach. That's convenient. There's a lot of stores and restaurants nearby. You can jump in the car and in five minutes be somewhere. And so far so good, guys. Probably gonna build something next door. I have no idea what. The yard could use a little more privacy. There is a fence, but it's not like a privacy thing. So maybe some privacy hedges would be nice. This is the master bedroom, which is kind of small. This room is even smaller than our master bedroom at our condo in Miami. But as you can see, everything is new. Not too bad. But I'm going to go look at a lot more houses today, and even if I don't get inside any of them, I definitely want to check out the neighborhoods and see where they're at, because unlike St. Augustine, the market here is on fire. You know, these houses are selling fast. The realtor told me he has multiple offers on this house. However, there's a lot more inventory here than there is in St. Augustine and at a lower price point. So that's pretty appealing for me and I like the weather up here, and I'll keep you guys posted on what happens. And just like that, I'm back in Miami Beach. Movie magic. I wanted to jump on at the end of this video and just give you guys a little insight into why I was there house hunting in Daytona. So, like I said in the, earlier in the video, we're kind of interested in the area. I'm not saying for sure I would move there. It's definitely a place I'm keeping an eye on. The prices there are still very good, um, my biggest problem is it seems like you can't do Airbnb. I'm still kind of looking into that situation and I don't think I would really want to buy a house that would just sit there 
and um, be empty that's for sure that's not a very good financial move but even renting a house to a long-term tenant I'm not really thrilled on the idea of that mainly because I don't think the profit margin would really be there for me so I'm not sure if Daytona Beach is gonna be the right spot to invest in it is a potential place I'm looking at maybe moving to in the future I'm not quite sure yet I just want to let you guys know that it is on my radar and I plan on doing a video for you really soon on the new like top 10 best places to live in Florida. I know that was one of my most popular videos from the past that so many people saw and obviously loved and probably subscribed for. And now that I've been to a lot of different places in Florida, even more than before, I would like to change that list up a little bit and update it for the most current situation right now. Just wanted to give you a little insight into why we were back in Daytona Beach. It was a lot of zigzagging back and forth. I mean, we literally came from the Panhandle down to Ocala, over to Daytona Beach, and then back from Daytona Beach, house hunting all day, back to the Villages, which is in Central Florida. So it was a lot of running around in a very short period of time. But I figured, you know what? Ocala is not that far away from Daytona. It's about an hour and 40 minutes, something like that and it seemed like the perfect time to go over that way because we weren't going to be going back after that you know we stayed in the villages and then after that we kept heading southwest and you know hugged the gulf coast of florida for all the rest of the videos so thank you guys so much for watching these travel videos i hope they're helping you a lot choose where you want to live in florida make sure you check out my next video on the screen right over here and i'll catch you guys over there